When Sarah Porter first put on a white coat and entered a crime lab as a college senior. It was just cool to be in an actual crime lab where there were people around me analyzing real evidence involved in cases and preparing for court. She knew. It was something that showed me, yes, this was something that I wanted to do and that I wanted to pursue down the road. I belong here. Yes. These are my people. Yes. Some 20 years later, Porter fits right in at the Sacramento County District Attorney Crime Lab, along with the 24 other women criminalists. There are 15 men. Her job focuses on toxicology. So I spend the majority of my time analyzing uh, bodily fluids, so blood and urine, uh, and occasionally tissue samples from the coroner's office for the presence of drugs and alcohol. Porter is also a member of the crime scene response team and is an expert in blood stain analysis. I find it very satisfying. I like that the work that I do, I, I feel has value. Uh, it's important um, to the people in the county of Sacramento. Porter always liked science, especially chemistry, but she didn't know what to do with that skill until the light bulb went off working in her mother's hair salon as a teenager in Massachusetts. I remember one day I was washing the hair of one of the clients and she uh, worked at the crime lab for Boston Police. It felt like something up until that point that was maybe unattainable, like wanting to be an astronaut or, you know, these dreams that we have that we just don't think we can actually get into. Her male high school chemistry teacher pushed her to go to college and with her firefighter father and hairstylist mother Porter would become the family's first generation college graduate that sort of instilled in me the value of studying hard working hard finishing all my homework doing the best job that I could Porter wondered how she could expand her chemistry knowledge how could I apply this to forensics I had always had an interest in forensics in general unsolved mysteries was my favorite TV show when I was 10 while in grad school at UC Davis she made connections at the crime lab where she now works so one day a week I came in here and I uh, categorized the reference collection of beige carpet fibers that was my first forensics-oriented task here at the laboratory. Now, Porter helps convict criminals by testifying in court as an expert and solving crimes. She's encouraging young women to seize the science opportunities. I did have to take the initiative uh, to sort of try to stick my foot in the door everywhere I wanted to go. In Sacramento, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News. She is so awesome. Porter left the East Coast for Los Alamos National Lab in New Mexico. She received her master's degree at UC Davis. High school students interested in this kind of career can go to the DA's Crime Lab Youth Shadow Day in the summer.